This chilling CCTV footage captures 29-year-old Tatiana Spitzner's final desperate moments as she struggles in vain to escape her husband, Luis Felipe Manvaler's vicious attack. Tatiana is shown frantically pushing buttons to close the elevator door before Felipe enters, but his brute strength and determination prevail. Felipe storms into the lift and immediately overpowers Tatiana, throwing her battered body ruthlessly into the walls as she screams in agony and fear, trying futilely to fight back. These are Tatiana's final moments before an unspeakable tragedy would unfold at the hands of the man who had vowed to honor and cherish her. Tatiana Spitzner was a promising 29-year-old lawyer living in Guarapuava, Brazil. Known for her intelligence, ambition, and vibrant personality, Tatiana had a tight-knit group of friends and a supportive family. In early 2013, she met Luis Felipe Manvaler, a university biology professor who immediately caught Tatiana's eye as an intelligent, disciplined academic with rugged good looks earned from his rigorous physical training and participation in jujutsu. Enchanted by Felipe's intensity and ambitious spirit mirroring her own, Tatiana fell hard and fast. To the outside world, Tatiana and Felipe seemed a perfect match, two rising young professionals destined for success. They got engaged that same year, and by December 2013, the two had tied the knot. Felipe doted on his new wife, lavishing Tatiana with gifts and plans for an idyllic future together. She described him as her soulmate to friends, and it was clear that she was swept up in the romance. Felipe was, too. He often boasted at the university about winning over the most beautiful and brilliant woman. For a little while, everything seemed perfect. But of course, this illusion of perfection wouldn't last. In a few short years, alarming cracks would emerge, giving way to unimaginable tragedy. At first, only faint early warnings surfaced. Friends would spot unusual bruises on Tatiana's arm every now and then, but she easily brushed it off, attributing it to accidents around the house. Over time, though, Felipe's domineering grip on Tatiana's life tightened conspicuously. By 2015, the abusive signs were more evident. Tatiana's friends noted how Felipe regulated his wife's subtlest decisions. He insisted on controlling the couple's finances, demanding Tatiana turn over her full paychecks so that he could responsibly manage her earnings. Tatiana confided in friends that Felipe was denying her cash and critiquing any minor personal purchases she wanted to make. He even controlled Tatiana's wardrobe. Felipe would dictate which clothes she could buy and how often she could upgrade her wardrobe. Any outfits that he deemed too flashy were quickly shredded. He insisted on having final authority on what she could wear and when she could wear it. Despite them both working full-time jobs, he insisted that Tatiana perform her womanly duty of cooking and cleaning for him. He refused to help out around the house, insisting that those were Tatiana's duties. Failures to comply were met with days of bitter coldness from the husband who once penned doting sonnets. Tatiana's once vibrant spirit dimmed under this coercive cloud. Friends' questions were met with pat excuses about Philippe's high standards. But during a March 2018 getaway to celebrate a friend's new job, Tatiana finally cracked. Away from Felipe's harsh scrutiny, she broke down over wine, confessing escalating control and criticism, leaving her emotionally drained. She admitted to her friends that she had become fearful of Felipe. It would also later emerge that Felipe had secretly been taking anabolic steroids for years to enhance his intensive strength training. Though not an excuse, doctors later confirmed that it was possible that this illicit supplement regime induced aggression, extreme rage reactions, and lack of impulse control. Tatiana likely bore the brunt of Felipe's chemically heightened temper during her desperate final months. By 2018, Tatiana had finally had enough. She vowed that Felipe's rage-fueled attacks marked the end. She urgently pursued options to escape the increasingly volatile situation, even threatening divorce. Felipe, however, refused to entertain any talks of divorce, instead swinging between violent threats and desperate promises to reform. Yet as time passed, his fuse only seemed to shorten. In July 2018, matters finally reached a boiling point. Felipe's birthday on the 22nd was meant to be a celebration. Felipe and Tatiana made plans to meet up with some friends at a lively restaurant downtown, where they could celebrate Felipe's birthday in high spirits. Tatiana, who was eager to look her best, made an appointment at a nail salon for a fresh manicure. 
The appointment went on for longer than expected, and when Tatiana got back to the apartment, she was greeted by a visibly irate Felipe, who insisted that they should have been at the venue already. They quickly sped off to meet up with the group, hoping to make the best of the situation, but the sparkling atmosphere was already clouded by Felipe's lingering frustration. As the night wore on, things had started to calm down. Drinks flowed, plates piled up, and laughter abounded. It seemed that the fun night out was finally a reality. That feeling, however, wouldn't last long because at some point during the evening, Tatiana spotted Felipe chatting to another woman on Instagram. She confronted him publicly, but Felipe laughed it off, insisting that it was just someone who had wished him a happy birthday and that he was simply replying to the message. Although Felipe made it out to be nothing major, Witnesses would later say that they felt the unease in the room. Around 2 a.m., the tense couple decided to make their way back home, both clearly inebriated. CCTV captured the moment that Felipe's car stopped outside their apartment building. This footage shows the couple arguing in the car, and Felipe strikes Tatiana a couple of times across her face. Not done yet. He then drives to the parking garage of their apartment building, and here the altercation continues. Tatiana finally breaks free and she makes a run for it, with Felipe following closely behind. He chases her around the parking garage, and Tatiana tries to escape by running towards the elevator and desperately punching the buttons to close the door and trap Felipe outside. Unfortunately, the doors didn't close quickly enough, and Felipe forced his way into the lift. The cameras in the lift capture Felipe brutally assaulting Tatiana, and she desperately tries to fight back, but he overpowers her with his brute strength. The doors eventually open, and Tatiana tries to make a run for it, but once again, Felipe is able to overpower her and drags her back into the lift. They eventually make it to the fourth floor and he forces her into their apartment unit, where there are no other cameras. It's not known what exactly transpires next, but witnesses would later recount hearing screaming and shouting coming from the apartment, yet nobody came out to investigate. Fifteen minutes after first exiting the elevator, cameras outside the apartment building capture Tatiana's body falling from the fourth floor and hitting the sidewalk. Moments later, Felipe arrives, and after looking around for a few seconds, he determines that nobody has witnessed the scene, so he picks up Tatiana's body and moves it back to his apartment. After he places her body in his apartment, Felipe re-emerges, and cameras capture him cleaning the elevator, wiping blood from the floors and from the buttons, seemingly trying to cover up the crime. He then returns to the apartment and changes his clothes before he once again makes his way downstairs, gets into his car, and drives off. Residents in the nearby apartment buildings flooded emergency lines after witnessing a man picking up a corpse from the sidewalk and taking it back into an apartment building. They told operators how they heard a woman's bone-chilling screams followed by a body plunging onto the pavement. Shocked onlookers then saw a man desperately checking out the scene before dragging the lifeless woman back into the building. Police quickly came out and tried to track down the man. It wasn't long before they apprehended Felipe. He was caught 180 miles away when he crashed his vehicle after driving erratically, trying to get away from the scene. His head was no doubt clouded by alcohol and panic about what had just transpired. The public ministry has charged Luis Felipe Manweiler. He did indeed kill his wife, Tatian Spitzner, who fell from the fourth floor of a building in Guarapuava. In the indictment, the prosecutors claimed that the biologist Luis Felipe Manweiler, aged 32, killed the woman lawyer Tatian Spitzner, 29 years old, through successive physical assaults. Public ministry also requested that Luis Felipe Manuela remain in jail as they consider his behavior to be aggressive and dangerous. Minutes after Tatian's death and the distance he traveled in that short time, it should also be pointed out that his likely destination was Paraguay. So if he is released, if he is set free, there's a risk he'll try again to evade criminal responsibility.
When police apprehended the dazed Felipe, he told officers that Tatiana leaped to her death over the balcony after an argument broke out between the couple. He said that she had accused him of cheating and then threatened to end her own life by jumping from the fourth floor balcony, a threat she evidently followed through on. A meticulous forensic investigation would however expose Felipe's story as a total fabrication. Analysis showed that Tatiana was already deceased when she hit the pavement after her 40-foot fall. She also had the imprints of Felipe's powerful hands which bruised the delicate skin of her throat. Her hyoid bone located at the front was completely fractured, and it was clear that Tatiana was strangled. With overwhelming proof against Felipe, he was arrested and charged with murder, femicide, and procedural fraud for attempting to obscure the crime scene. Finally, in April 2021, three years after Tatiana's murder, Luis Felipe Manvaler would eventually face trial thanks to relentless efforts by prosecutors and advocates. Legal proceedings were delayed as Felipe's defense appealed to push the trial back, hoping public outrage would fade over time. After multiple frustrated attempts, a trial date was finally set for early 2021. Over seven intense days, prosecutors meticulously laid out the accumulating evidence, from text messages to surveillance footage to forensic reports, all demonstrating Felipe's prolonged physical and emotional torture of Tatiana culminating in her brutal death on July 22, 2018. Friends testified on her confided fear of Felipe's temper. Experts explained her injuries irrefutably showed Tatiana was already dead before Felipe discarded her body over the balcony with a broken neck and strangulation marks evidencing his final savage impacts. Felipe, however, maintained that Tatiana was the unstable one, ultimately committing suicide when she suspected her husband had cheated on her. After hearing both sides of the argument, a seven-man jury convicted Luis Felipe Manvaler of femicide and obstruction of justice. Due to the heinous nature of Tatiana's suffering, he received the maximum sentence of 31 years, 9 months, and 18 days in prison, with an additional fee of nearly $25,000 to be paid to Tatiana's grieving parents. The landmark verdict was considered a milestone in Brazil's fight against the epidemic of violence against women, but for Tatiana's loved ones, the penalty remains inadequate for the cruelty she endured at the hands of someone sworn to cherish her.